Welcome back to Chrome Tuna's Lab. Um, I'm still working on the one volt uh, octave uh, keyboard controller, which I think I've got mainly built, and uh, and I still can't get it to quite work right. Uh, last night I manufactured something using a nine volt battery and a potentiometer, and use that to double check my. Uh, the CV inputs on my sound lab and it, those seem to work out fine. But here is what the basic uh, project is going to be. I want to make a bass guitar into a controller for the sound lab. What I got here, courtesy of Scott B, is uh, an old Harmony bass guitar. and uh, I got this for free so I'm not really worried about tearing it up. Uh, this will just be a prototype. Later on, once I get that all working, I've got this uh, kind of no-name brand uh, bass guitar that I got really cheap. And actually, it doesn't play too bad. But the purpose I got it was to uh, make the keyboard controller out of it. So, whatever. It will get destroyed and demolished and everything. I am going to have to manufacture some sort of bridge. I realized that would have to be isolated and that I'd probably have to have four uh, one volt octave keyboard controllers if I really wanted this to uh, work right, but I don't think I care about this because I only play one string on a bass anyway. Also going to have to manufacture a nut for this. Um, and what I'm going to manufacture it out of is I've got a bunch of this stuff left over. This is a really plastic cutting board material and I had and part of the plan is to take a bunch of resistors like this and solder them somehow between each fret. And uh, I don't think tuning will matter on this because I'll use the fine tuners on the sound lab. Of course, I'll have to get this tuned to a basic E and uh, therefore because part of the whole plan is I want to be able to use the bass as a uh, actual bass guitar so I'd have one line coming off of this that's the uh, control voltage and the uh, trigger and that sort of thing and then the other one would be uh, you know just using the normal pickups and the jack to drive a bass and probably some wacky sound processing. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this, the best way to uh, solder these in between of course it would make sense to do them just over the top of the fretboard but I might try and get fancy and pop this actual fretboard off and then uh, you solder the the resistors in from the outside or the underside so now I'll manufacture the uh, I'm sure I'm going to do a half-assed job of manufacturing the bridge piece which I'm not going to bother really worrying about it uh, for now.